Welcome to Creative Tian channel. Today we want to make another mask. This time I want to make a double-sided mask. So you can use either side as a front side. And this one has a nicer finish. And you can also install the wire for shaping the nose area. But I'm skipping the pocket for the filter. There's a lot of question about what filters to use. And sometimes we can just keep it simple and skip the filter. At least you can breathe easily and you can wear the mask longer comfortably. I try to keep the pattern really simple and I'm showing the average adult size. And of course you can modify it to make it bigger or smaller so it fits you better. First you will need a 100% cotton material. You can use cotton blend but 100% cotton is the most comfortable choice. You can breathe through easily. And the cotton is also very durable. You can toast it in the washing machine and wash on high heat without any problem. And you can iron again and again with high heat too. So the first step is to cut the fabric. For average adult size, I have seven and a half inch square. You need two pieces of different pattern. For kids size, depends on how old is the kid. Maybe reduce one inch. So it can be 6.5 by 6.5 inches square. And again, use two different fabric and cut two squares. For the elastic, I will cut two pieces of 7.5 inches long. So that's very easy to remember. Everything is 7.5 for adult size. For kid size, you can cut two pieces of 6 inches. If it's a little kid, maybe 5.5 inches. For older kids, maybe 6.5 inches elastic. And we are going to make the surgical style mask. So we are going to have a few folds in the center. And the tip to make a very neat edge on the side of the mask is to do the folding first before you sew two pieces together. So we are going to draw some folding lines from the back of the fabric. And since we have 7.5 inches, it's very easy to divide. I will have one and a half inches from the top down, and then half inch, and then one and a half inch, and then half inch, and again one and a half inch, and then half inch, and you will leave around one and a half inch at the end. So you can see the folding line is three half inch wide. And we can mark the same dimension on the other side and draw the lines so we can have very precise folding lines. This step is optional. Some people prefer just to do it by hand and eyeball it. That will work too. So that's a three folding line. Each one is half inches. And the bigger section is one and a half inch, one and a half, one and a half, one and a half. And we'll draw the same on the back of the other fabric and then we'll start folding. So after I draw that, I can start folding with my finger first, like that, according to the folding line. And then we can give it an iron so the line will be very crisp. Now this is ironed. Next, we cut two pieces of elastic, about 7.5 inches long. And then we can place the elastic like that on the right side of one of the fabric. And the other one, we will fold it so both right side are facing each other. And then we can sew around the edges, leaving an opening on the top. If you like, you can secure the elastic first. Sew up the four ends of the elastic before you place the other fabric. Now I sew the elastic to one side of the fabric. Now we can take the other fabric, the right side facing down. So both right side are facing each other. And we can start sewing the outside, leaving the space on the top so we can turn over. 
You can place some pins first so it's easier to sew and mark the opening so you don't sew over it by accident. Now we finish sewing the line, we can trim off extra fabric, especially in the corner. If the edge is uneven, you can trim off extra fabric too. And then we can start to turn it inside out from the opening here. When you are sewing the line, you can decide the seam allowance you want. Usually it's between a quarter inch to half an inch. And if you have a bigger seam allowance, the final mask will be a little bit smaller. So you have to take that into consideration. Now we trim off the extra fabric in the corner. We'll start to turn over. So that's what it likes after we turn it inside out. Here is the opening. And then next you have to decide if you want to install the wire for the nose area. I like to use a twisty tie. Sometimes you can find the right size gardening wire that comes in a roll and you can cut it to the length you like. If you don't want to install the nose wire, you can just sew up a line here. Or if you want, you can go over full size and then that will be done. And if you want to install the wire, you can just insert it through that little hole. Place like that inside and just sew around the wire on the three sides so it creates a channel and make it secure. And that's what I'm going to do here. I will place this inside. I really don't need it that long. I will cut it smaller, maybe around this size and place inside. That will be easier to sew. I give it an iron and I place the wire inside here. You can see I have a big seam allowance. So I place the wire inside the seam allowance. I use two pin to mark the location of the wire. So now I just need to sew around the wire and maybe continue sewing the four sides if I want to. I sew two lines here around the wire just to make sure it's secure. So it's basically done and I think I will top stitch here on the top and the bottom side just to make it look a little nicer.